Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Unfortunately, we are still waiting on a fix for the 1.13 update that dropped almost two weeks ago. Go away, Slime. I'm trying to record here. Don't don't you bother me, Mr. Slime. Get just get 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 get. I'm trying to do something here. He was gonna get in my shot. Uh, one of them's already bit the dust here. We want st stupid slime balls. Anyway, as I was saying, the 1.13 update dropped almost two weeks ago, and it brought with it many, many problems. It was designed to put foxes in the game for the Bedrock players, and it was a bug fix for several issues, but unfortunately it brought with it many more issues than it fixed, I believe. Uh, the realms are rolling back, so people are losing sometimes a half a day of building work. Uh, nobody knows why it's doing that. The portals are randomly throwing you out hither and thither into solid walls or in random places in the nether where there is no portal to get back. So there's a lot of other issues going on with it. So we're just not ready to go back into the community realm and get started back on the series. So what I wanted to show you today was one of the early game things for me is smelting stuff. Whether it's cooking food, smelting cobble back into stone, so we can make bricks or whatever. Um, one of the early things I like to do is build a super smelter. It's not really a super smelter, it's not huge, um, but it can be. What the design I'm gonna show you here in just a few minutes is completely expandable. Um, it's early game stuff, so you don't have to have a lot of complicated redstone, no repeaters, no comparators, so you don't need the nether quartz from the nether, but it will still smelt fairly quickly and it will smelt a lot of items very quickly for you and like I say you can start out with as many furnaces that you want and go up I've done one with 64 furnaces in it and it will spit out I mean it will spit out items very very quickly so as you guys know you've got the standard furnace the blast furnace and the smoker standard furnace will smelt anything that can be smelted the blast furnace is for ores only and the smoker is for food. And I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. Let me grab some stuff out of here. Let me grab some food, some cobble. We'll go ahead and grab our ores. And if you put stuff in here, we'll throw a piece of coal in here. Just, just grab an ore, throw it in here, and you can see the progress line there on the arrow. It's fairly decent, but eh, it's not real fast. We'll leave that cobble to smelt. But the way I've got these set up is, in the back, there's a chest. Throw your coal in there. Up top, there's a chest. It feeds down to the top, so you would actually throw your cobble in there. And it will feed through the hopper, down into the furnace. And as it smelts, it gets captured down below. The blast furnace, same setup here. Throw some coal in the back. However, you can see it will smelt all of the different ores very quickly. And yes, you can smelt diamond ore, nether quartz ore, coal. It will do all of the ores. It feeds down through here, and as one feeds in, feeds into the bottom, and you can see the progress bar there much, much faster, much faster than the other one. And as it smelts up, see I've already smelted one of each. I just wanted to make sure before I did the video but it will capture it. And the same thing over here, throw your food in here. It can be fish, chicken, rabbit, beef, um, potatoes, can't cook carrots or wheat or any. It would be nice if you could put wheat in there and it would cook it and make bread out of it, but it's just not a thing yet. You have stuff to make bread at the crafting table, but feeds down through the hopper, feeds into the smoker. We didn't put any fuel in it. That's very important. Fuel it up, you can see it kick on there. And the progress bar much, much faster than a regular furnace. And with the designs I'm gonna show you down through there, all of these are interchangeable. So with this one, we've got regular furnaces, but you could change it out for a smoker or blast furnaces, uh, but then you're gonna limit yourself. You can make one of these for regular stuff going through a regular furnace you can make another one for food and another one for ores if you wanted to but same concept I've just doubled it up so you're doubling what you're doing these are gonna smelt singles this is gonna do double so we throw my coal in and 
Let me go steal some stuff out of these. We'll take our diamonds, and we've already smelted all of our cobble. Nope. You can throw multiple items in here, and they will smelt as it goes through. There we go. So you can see it's distributing it evenly between the two furnaces. And once it smelts up, drops down below. There we go. And then once one feeds into the hopper, the second one will start feeding in, the third one will start feeding in, and so forth and so on. So you can throw multiple items in there as long as you have regular furnaces. If you're doing ores, you can only throw ores in there. If you're doing food, you can only throw food in there if you've got the blast furnace or the smoker, respectively. Now to this little design that I've came up with. I, I'm not saying I'm the original creator of this type of furnace. I'm sure there's others out there. Um, I didn't really see anything when I made this. I just kind of thought it up in my head and designed it and put it together. But it's an early game smelter for me. The most expensive part of this is the hoppers. So we got hoppers below the furnaces as a return to go into this chest. The redstone you get fairly easy mining once you get down to uh, level 11. You run into a lot of redstone. You need gold for the powered rails, but you don't need any nether quartz. So if you've not got to a point where you're in the nether yet, and it doesn't have a lot of complicated um, repeaters and stuff to feed it, so it, blah, 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 all that evenly stuff and all this other stuff. But you can see um, we're out of coal. Let's see if we can find some coal right quick. Oh no, you know what? I already put coal in it. But I don't have anything to feed it. So let's throw some stuff in here right quick. Let's get some cobble. Um, let's get some cobble. Let's get some ore. Let's get some food. Hit the wrong button. Uh, where's the food? We'll get some taters. We'll get some fishies. And because we're using regular furnaces, we can just throw a random assortment of stuff in there. Cobble, cobble, cobble. Who's got the cobble? Why are you back? Get, I told you, get out of here. I'm trying to record an episode. Go, you get what you get. Anyway, so it's very simple. I put a lever here. Got a redstone dust here, which will power this block. Once that lever powers this block, it will power the redstone, which will power this which will send this cart down through there. It just runs along rails. I put this here just as a little booster to make sure it goes down. It comes down, it will go evenly over this. It will not be a simultaneous lighting up of the furnaces, but it will distribute it evenly. And we've got the same setup down here. We've got a lever which powers this block, which powers the redstone, which powers this block, which powers this rail that will send it back, and this rail which will send it back. Now, we'll go down here, flick this lever, and it activates. And you can see they're lighting up, going down, going back. You know, it goes up here. You could actually drop everything down one more block and make it evenly along the top. But what I have found out is if you do that, you put the hoppers where the furnaces are, the game is kind of bugged out. This minecart on the back, as it goes along, it will distribute into here. And it will go into those hoppers too. So you'll get coal going into your smelt um, locations. And I've never been able to figure out how to make it not do that. So I've always put these hoppers one block higher than the rails in the back so it doesn't do that. Early on I was making it even so they would just go along and I didn't have to put this little booster block in here to make it go up onto the hoppers. Uh, but you can see it's smelting up pretty good. If you look in the take up chest, you even with eight furnaces, um, you almost get almost get a steady stream of smelt blocks coming back in. There's a little bit of a delay in there. However, it's pretty fast. It's fairly simple for early game. Um, the good thing about this is you can expand it. So if you wanted to come here, I like to put a block in between. Let me turn it off and I'll show you guys right quick. That's not what I wanted to do. Put the lever back. Oink. All right. We're going to need our stuff. We're going to need our stuff. All right. Got that. So, you have to put a block in between because if you put these 
redstone blocks right beside the furnaces or the hoppers, it will lock them and nothing will flow through. And then I leave another block in between. So this would then become power drill, power drill, regular rail, regular rail. Of course, those connected. And then you would just do the same thing again here. have to connect it up this does get a little expensive with the hoppers so early game with the iron farms being broken like they are maybe not a good idea to expand it unless you dig for a lot of iron where is my furnaces this is why I don't do a lot of on-camera building or tutorials or anything like that because I'm not very good at it um, so you just extend everything on out like this. Let's break that, break that. And there we go. And of course those are going to connect because we don't have the other end. But basically you would then just continue on. Put as many furnaces as you want, and I like you to do them in groups of eight. Um, that's going to be a booster in between them. So I just like to do it in groups of eight for some reason, just because it's even and symmetrical. What are up with all these slimes? Um, we didn't need that block there. Uh, let's see, where's our regular rail? Powered rail. We don't need that. That fell in, I'm sure. There we go. Powered rail here. No. Why? Connect. There we go. Lever. Redstone dust. And this is one you can just turn on. And for you guys out there that, that know more about redstone than I do, you can get creative here. I'm sure you could put um, levers on the back side. You could do that and that, or come up with some other creative way to keep these powered, just so long as they're powered to send the, send the carts back. Now, if we go back down here and turn on this, and, and again, down here, you can set up some kind of auto loader. You can feed this off to an auto loader somewhere else. Um, go over and check out Conniption's Fit, Conniption Fit's video. He has an auto unloader. Um, I think we used up all of our stuff already. That's not good either. Let's grab some more stuff to throw in there. And, of course, we don't have anything left in the box. Let's grab some more coal. Just wanted to show you guys that it will distribute out evenly. Where is the coal? Why am I missing the coal? Where is the coal? There's the coal. And we're going to need some stuff to smelt. Let's grab some that's cooked fish. We don't want cooked fish. There's some fish there. Let's grab some stuff to smelt. We'll grab some iron. We want a whole stack. And let's grab some cobble. Alright, let's throw the coal in here. Throw our items in here. Fish. Boom goes the dynamite. And there we go. So it's distributing it evenly. Uh, like I say, it's not all simultaneously. Everything comes on at once. That's not a big deal for me as long as it distributes evenly. But yeah, so that's pretty much it there. Um, you can see the design. Uh, sorry about the scatterbrain tutorial. I'm just not very good at these type things. There are other guys out there that are so much better at this. Um, but it's pretty simple, straightforward. If you understand it, uh, I applaud you because I just did it and I don't really understand it myself. So, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the episode. 
Uh, if you have any questions on this, just leave me questions down in the comments. I'll be glad to answer them. Um, maybe go back at some other time and just do a non-talking tutorial where I just build it. Uh, put the words up on the screen so you guys can follow if you need a tutorial. But again, it's pretty simple. If I can do it, surely everybody else out there can do it because I'm clueless when it comes to a lot of this complicated redstone. But this to me is just a simple design. You can, you can get almost everything early game. The iron you can mine, the redstone you can mine. You don't have to set up a whole lot of repeaters and hoppers and all kind of stuff like that. And as you can see, it, it's smelting stuff fairly quickly. I mean, it's about all you need. And if you expand this on out, there's eight, not, there's 10 furnaces. If you expand this out and make eight there, you've got 16, then you double it, you make it go around on the end, double it on the other side, or just extend it straight out. You get 64 furnaces, it will smelt stuff very quickly for you, and you'll have everything you need very quickly. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time, and remember, game your way. Yeah, we're gonna end it like this. It may not be a traditional video on the realm, but we still like doing this. Hey, I got an idea. Where? Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Let's go. Let's go find the wandering trader. Let's go find the wandering trader. Yeah, there you are, buddy. Woohoo! Let's dance. Come on, dance with me. Dance with me. Dance. You're not dancing, dude. Come on, dance. All right. We'll see you guys around. I don't know why he wouldn't dance with me. What's wrong with you, dude? Dance. Have a little bit of fun. See you around, guys.